What had started out as a small railway in the west of the Indian subcontinent, built by two men, Jamshedji Jijibhoy and Jagannath Shankarset, took a life of its own and has grown into one of the biggest railway systems in the world. Trains and India are synonymous with each other. You have images of overcrowded trains, bustling railway platforms, laden coolies and families carrying baggage in every possible way. This is India and its lifeline, the Indian Railways. A proud part of this big, diverse country and if you look closely enough, a little bit of magic. Most people assume that the Indian Railways were started when India was under the British rule. But two dedicated individuals built the first rail line between Bombay, known today as Mumbai, and Thane in Maharashtra. This humble beginning grew into a network of stations, trains, developments, one of the world's biggest utility or commercial employers, and for some, a great draw to visit India. were coalesced into one organization in 1951 called the Indian Railways after 47 companies united to form this one entity. The Indian Railways are one of the largest in the world, ranking in fourth after the railway systems of the US, Russia and China. With the world's largest democracy depending on the wheels turning, keeping this organization running is a mammoth task. Lucknow, a city in Uttar Pradesh, is the busiest station with 64 trains departing from it daily. In India, 14,500 trains running daily, the distances they cover equal three and a half times the distance to the moon. With India spanning over 3,000 kilometers from north to south and the distance from east to west being just over 2,900 kilometers, even a fast train takes a while to cover these vast distances. The fastest of the 14,500 daily trains is the Bhopal Shatabdi Express, running between New Delhi and Bhopal. This superfast train clocks a maximum speed of 150 km an hour on the Faridabad Agra section and covers the 704 km between New Delhi and Bhopal in just below 8 hours. In contrast to this, the slowest train clocking a speed of just 10 km an hour is the Mitupalayam Uti Nilgiri passenger train. To truly put the extent of the Indian Railways into numbers would be to combine the entire population of Australia, New Zealand and Tasmania, 25 million people, the number of passengers using the trains of India daily. To handle this massive number of people, the Indian Railways holds over 59,713 passenger coaches and close to 10,000 locomotives. With the history of India spanning over such a vast period of time, the Indian Railways comes with its own bits of history. The oldest preserved locomotive, known as the Fairy Queen, which first made its appearance in 1855, is still in working order, at the age of 159 years. The manufacturing of steam locomotives was stopped in 1972. Currently, the Railways owns a combination of diesel, steam and electric engines. The first electric coach ran between Bombay VT and Kurla stations in 1925. Some modern elements were added in 1891 when the first class got toilets on trains, while the same privilege was only given to the lower classes 16 years later in 1907. The Mumbai Pune Deccan Queen has the oldest running dining car in the Indian Railways. An ever-growing system of trains, tracks, schedules, meals, platforms and maintenance of this employer, noted to be one of the biggest in the country, not only strives to constantly grow but also to better itself. In the near future, as close as 2016, the Indian Railways aim to start the use of LNG-based locomotives running on liquefied natural gas, making it a greener option than the use of coal or diesel. Using non-traditional fuels makes this switch expensive at the beginning but will carry long-term benefits. It is said that India is a land of great diversity of its people, languages, arts, cultures, traditions and history. 
spending time on any of the train platforms of this country gives one a mental image of just how colourful India truly is. But at the end of the day, it is the Indian rail system that unifies this vast and diverse nation.